Hi folks, I'm Kate Paul and this is Owl Forest Farm. We are located on the Masabi Iron Range in northeastern Minnesota. In 2018, we received a grant, a sustainable agriculture demonstration grant through the Minnesota Department of Agriculture for a project called Peonies for Profitable Cut Flower Production in northeastern Minnesota. And today I would love to give you a tour of our peony project. Peonies are a highly sought after cut flower around the world. The number of peony stems sold in the international cut flower market has been increasing in recent years. Peonies are winter hardy and incredibly long lived plants, often living for over a century. Grown in USDA zones 2 through 8, they need an extended period of cold during the winter in order to go dormant and rebloom again the next year. In warmer zones in the United States as well as Denmark, peonies bloom mainly in May and June. New Zealand's peony market is in November and December. In Chile, peonies are ready for market in January and February. In Zone 3 in northern Minnesota, there is potential to harvest peonies late spring to late summer. This seasonal advantage is similar to Alaska's and it would help fill a niche in the market when supplies are low or non-existent elsewhere. For wholesale sales and for shipments, peonies are best harvested in the soft bud stage. If they're too hard, they won't open properly after storage, and if they're too soft, they won't last long enough. For long-term storage, the peonies are stripped of their leaves and they're packaged dry with no water. They will store in a 38 degree cooler for up to four weeks if they're packaged properly. For fresh market sales and for you pick, the peonies can be harvested at more open stages. These will keep in the cooler for a shorter period, but sales are made soon after harvest and base life is very good. The goal of this project was to grow and evaluate 32 varieties of peonies for cut flower production. This study seeks to identify those cultivars that produce the greatest number of blooms per plant and also identify cultivars that would extend the late season potential, thus extending the market season. This project has the potential to serve as a benchmark for kickstarting a new commercial enterprise in Minnesota that would support small farms and promote USA grown peonies. In the fall of 2018, the ground was prepared. Landscape fabric was laid down on the prepared beds and the sides were secured into the trenches and recovered with soil. For each bed, holes were marked two feet apart to create a double row. And then 11 inch holes were burned in the fabric. The soil was amended with composted manure, granular fertilizer, bone meal, and pelleted lime, and these were placed in each hole. Three to five eye bare root peony divisions were then transplanted, over 1,300 peonies total. In 2019, the areas between the rows were seeded, and irrigation drip lines were set up and laid down. Permanent markers were also installed to identify each variety. Weeding the peonies is a constant chore and it takes a considerable amount of time. When we weed, we also amend the soil with additional fertilizer and compost. Another steady chore is keeping the rows between the peonies mowed and groomed all season long. Data collection was conducted in the 2020 growing season, and it consisted of counting the number of harvestable blooms for each cultivar twice per week. Total mean blooms per cultivar were then calculated for each bloom count session. A single factor, one-way ANOVA, 
or analysis of variance test, was conducted to compare the mean blooms of the 32 cultivars during each of their peak bloom count sessions. A post hoc test was then performed to determine which cultivars had significantly more blooms than others. The test results showed that there are two groups of peonies that performed better than the others. The five varieties in group 1 outperformed all other varieties, and the 11 varieties in group 2 outperformed the other 17 varieties. The peak overall bloom time was June 21st, followed by June 24th. Most cultivars were blooming during this period in the third week of June. This is significant because it verifies that regardless of the cultivar, bloom time is later in northeastern Minnesota compared to the majority of the lower 48 states. If harvested in late June and stored properly, peonies in this climate would be available for market sales well into July when peony production has ended in many other states. The only other place they are available during this later time frame is Alaska. There were also several cultivars identified that had an even later peak bloom period, which would help extend the production period. For example, Marie Lamone and Nick Shaler both had a peak number of harvestable blooms on June 28th, and Otten's Pride had a peak number on July 1st. These three varieties are included in Group 2, and they performed very well. Cultivars such as these could help extend the production period even further and allow Minnesota growers to meet the demand for peonies well after production ends in many other states. Thank you for listening in to learn about this fun project. A little background about us. Owl Forest Farm is a small family farm with production on almost seven acres. Sales of our cut flowers began in 2017 and we grow a wide variety of annual and perennial flowers. We also have a wildflower patch packed with lupins along with a newer native prairie planting and also sunflower patches. We recently began offering you pick flowers and photo opportunities on the farm. We offer a unique opportunity here to experience the beauty of the farm and nature. We are looking forward to welcoming people to the farm to take a relaxing walk among the peonies and do you pick. Breathe in the amazing scents that these gorgeous flowers are famous for and enjoy all the beauty here. See you soon.